Hi guys, I am doing an empties video. I haven't done one of these in such a long time and my bowl, like my big thing full of empties is seriously overflowing. So let's get started. Um, first product is the Oscar Blondie Volumizing Dry Shampoo. Finished this baby. I'm kind of happy I finished this. I didn't think it did a great job at being a dry shampoo. Like it didn't really soak up all the oil, but it definitely was good at volumizing and I liked it, but I didn't think it was the best at um, dry shampooing. Next thing I used was this hair dye, which I recently dyed my hair and I'm loving it. It's the Garnier Olea Oil Powered Permanent Color in the color 3.0 Darkest Brown. I am obsessed with this color. It's like, it's a really dark brown. I mean, it's probably the darkest brown that you can get um, before black, I would say, but it's still brown without being black. I don't know. I love it. I can definitely see myself using this color over and over again for a long time because I am obsessed with this hair color and it makes my hair so soft and so silky and so shiny the oils in this or whatever it is is amazing and then one thing that it came with is the after color conditioner and i loved this stuff it was amazing like it was literally as good as my alterna um products that i use in the shower which are like my favorites ever and i wish they sold this separately do they sell it separately maybe they do i don't know um, but I love this. This came with the hair dye and I this made my hair feel like silk, literally like silk. I also used this product up. This is the Alginus Triple Action Micro Polish and Peel. Really liked this stuff. It's a enzyme slash manual granule exfoliator. Um, so it has little beads in it, but it also has, I think it's glycolic in it. Yeah, it's glycolic and fruit enzymes. And it just works so well at exfoliating my skin. Oscar Blondie product. This is the Pronto Dry Styling and Heat Protection Spray. I love this stuff this is what I use before I straighten my hair before I curl my hair it's dry and I've never had a dry styling spray all my styling sprays slash heat protection sprays are like wet so when I spray it in my hair it makes it wet and then I can't straighten it or curl it it's just stupid this is so smart because it's dry when you spray it on so it doesn't make your hair wet at all but it protects up to 450 degrees so it's perfect I already bought a new one this is my full bottle and I've been using that and I love it so I will totally continue to repurchase this I found I find it at Target um, I also found it at TJ Maxx but we also sell it at Sephora I finally finished my Stila Stay All Day foundation love this foundation number one favorite never fails me definitely definitely repurchase this my color is in the shade hue number five it matches me perfectly um so i will totally rebuy this one um love it recommend it to everyone you have to try steel stay all day it's awesome i didn't finish the concealer so this is just the foundation um but best foundation ever another foundation that's like almost gone it's like down to here i just couldn't finish it up because i don't know i feel like the consistency got kind of weird but this was the dior skin nude foundation i do really like this i think it gives a really pretty glow if you want like that natural finish glow to your skin um i think i'd repurchase it but i won't repurchase it like right this minute because um it's not my favorite again steel is my favorite right now this gives a really pretty glow so maybe in the winter i'll want to go back to the, something like this but this was in the shade 30 which is like more my summery shade these are the peter thomas roth gentle complexion correction pads my favorite pads ever they are 10 percent glycolic and half a percent salicylic so they're not drying but they exfoliate my skin in the morning when i need that like extra exfoliation after i wake up helps prevent acne from coming up throughout the day i already repurchased it love these products i don't like the max pads because they dry out my skin they're too harsh for me gentle pads are the way to go love these i will buy them forever next product is the living proof restore treatment hair mask i really love this mask but i honestly think my mom likes it even more every time i go into the shower and i want to use this it's all gone because my mom uses it all up uh, i did of course get to use a couple of uses out of this but literally i go into the shower and it's like finished and i'm like darlene what did you do to this um i love it though it's an awesome hair mask it's great for like once a week that like really deep conditioning repair that you might need if your hair is like dry or damaged next is the philosophy micro delivery mini peel pads you've heard me talk about these before i think they're awesome they're super gentle they have um certain ingredients in them that help like get rid of redness tone down inflammation in the skin so they're perfect for people who are more sensitive as another option to the peter thomas roth pads if you're not acne prone these pads are great however sephora for some reason took them off the shelves i don't understand why they're the best pads ever um, but you can still get them at ulta and i guess philosophy still sells them also um, but i use these in my kit i literally never do someone's makeup without prepping their skin with these first and i'll do a whole video on how i prep client skin um, but these are the best things ever and i already repurchased another container of them it's in my kit right now uh, but these are 
the best. Next is the Caudalie Moisturizing Mattifying Fluid. I love this for the summer. Um, I finished it obviously this summer. I love it because it moisturizes and it helps mattify throughout the day, but it's not it's not too hydrating and it's not it doesn't make my skin drier either. It's like that perfect moisturizer for the morning time for combo skin. This is awesome. I'm not going to repurchase it anytime soon because fall and winter is coming and my skin gets kind of dry. Um, but I definitely, like, thousand percent, will repurchase this um, come next spring. I will. I will definitely start using this again. So this is my favorite um, moisturizer for the daytime in the summer. I finished up the self tanner from Tarte. It's the Tarte Brazilian Skin Rejuvenating Self Tanner. I really love this self tanner. It's probably up there in one of my top favorites. I really like Saint Tropez. I like the original and I like the dark. Um, and then this is probably my like second. This is super hydrating on the skin and it doesn't look like orange or anything like that. It's like really amazing. I love the scent of it. It smells like a bakery to me. And I like that it comes with a mitt and it's a good price. And this lasts me a really, really long time. It's a lot of product in here. So I will repurchase this, but I have like three backups of it. I don't know. I went through like an obsession with this like a year or two ago and I bought like five of them. So I already have more left, but um, when I run out of those, I will repurchase them. I finished up two makeup wipes and I'm not a huge makeup wipe um, person, um, but I decided to pick these up because I liked them. This I got in like a sample a while ago. Um, they were Bare Naked Wipes from Josie Marin. These felt nice. They didn't remove makeup that well, so I wouldn't like really recommend these and I wouldn't repurchase these, but these I love. They're the Cora's Pomegranate ones. They really help with um, like removing any excess oil on the skin. They help like kind of shrink and dry up your acne. They help with mattifying the skin. They're really, really great. I feel like they're great for like combo skin who's prone to breakouts, which is completely my skin. Um, and I like these a lot. I just don't like the packaging because I hate wipes with this kind of like peel thing because I feel like you can never get the wipes out in time when it like already starts to dry up because this thing won't stick down. It's obnoxious. So I mean like I probably repurchase these but because of the packaging problem it drives me nuts. And honestly I really just save wipes for travel or nights where I'm really really lazy and I just need to quickly wipe off my makeup but I wouldn't necessarily use these to remove like eye makeup more so face makeup. Next thing I finished is the Sephora Triple Action, Action Cleansing Water. I use this pretty much every night to remove my face makeup. So I take off my eye makeup with any kind of makeup remover. Actually, I'll show you that one next. Um, and then I use this to remove the rest of my face makeup. So I really like this stuff. I have already, this is like my, I'm probably on my third big huge container of this. And I love these. And I already bought it again because I use it up so quickly. I probably use this up in like... I don't know, maybe like a month and a half or less than that. Um, but I love this stuff. It's awesome. So lately for eye makeup remover, um, I've been using my Sephora Collection Instant Eye Makeup Remover. This is not the waterproof one. I hate that one. I hate any oily residue on my eyes. So granted, this does not take off mascara like super easily or anything, but with a little, with a little bit of gentle rubbing, you can get mascara off pretty easily. It takes off um, eyebrows really nicely. It takes off eyeshadow super, super well. I hate oily feelings in makeup remover, and this doesn't have that oil in it at all. Um, and it's awesome. I really love it. And I only take it off with these Shiseido Facial Cottons because they're so gentle. They don't get cotton in your eye. They are the best things ever. They're super gentle on that, you know, delicate eye area when I can be a little bit harsh on my eye area, but they're little cotton squares and well, they're kind of rectangles. They're little cotton rectangles and they're just amazing. So this is what I used to take off my eye makeup and then my face makeup is the Sephora Collection Cleansing Water. This is the Weedad Salon Series Mediter Mediterranean Bay Leaf Exfoliating Hair and Scalp Treatment. I liked this. It has like little granules, like exfoliators for your scalp. I felt like it definitely cleansed my scalp. I just felt like I had to use so much of this product to get all over my head. Like, I don't know if I have a big head. I probably do. But um, I like felt like I had to get like so much product to get all in my scalp. I don't know, but it did make my hair really soft and it made my scalp feel nice. So I don't know if I'd buy this again, but I did like it while I had it. This is the Sephora uh, Collection Express Nail Polish Remover. Best nail polish remover ever. It literally takes it off in one swipe. Don't even waste your time with the purple one. Only get the Express one. It takes it off so fast and so easily. I've already bought this again. Of course I did, because I can't go without it. This is the Ula Henriksen Sheer Transformation Moisturizer. I use this every single night, never fail. It has pea extract and licorice extract, which help um, protect against like hyperpigmentation. It helps fade my dark spots, like my post acne marks, things like that. And it doesn't make me too oily, but it hydrates just enough. It's a really gentle moisturizer, and I'll probably start using this in the morning also when it gets more, when it gets cooler out. I'll switch to using this morning and night, but for now I've just been using it every night. I'm probably on my 
third, maybe fourth container of this, and I will just continue to repurchase it. It's my favorite moisturizer. It's just perfect. I like the idea of having a moisturizer that actually is doing something for my skin other than just hydrating it. I finished my favorite eyeshadow primer. This is the NARS Pro Prime Primer. It is the best eyeshadow primer ever. Um, this lasted me like so, so, so long. Um, I probably could cut it open and get more out, but I've had this for so long. I should probably like use up my other ones. Right now I'm using the Lorac, um, I don't know what it's called, Lorac Primer or whatever, Eye Primer. And I do like that. They're kind of comparable. I feel like they're really similar. Sometimes with the Lorac, I'll have, I'll have days where I'll have a little bit of, um, like creasing in my eyeshadow. Um, the NARS literally never fails me, never lets me down. I use it on everyone. I do makeup on at Sephora because it's not sticky like the Urban Decay, so you, you can blend shadows really easily on top. Um, I like the Dofa applicator because on myself I can just swipe it on and super easily blend out my finger. So this is my fave and I will definitely buy this again. So next are these. It's the Alterna Caviar RX Instant Recovery Conditioner and Shampoo. Love these products. They are literally my favorite shampoo and conditioner ever. They are expensive, so I haven't repurchased them yet. I have repurchased another Alterna um, shampoo and conditioner. I think I'm using the... Oh, I forgot what it's called. It's like the UV Plus one. I think it protects against like sun damage and whatever. I don't really know. I like it. It's fine. It's for color treated hair, so it works well. But these are like overwhelmingly amazing. I mean, you can see an instant difference in your hair, whether it's bleached or heat damaged or just like dead ends everywhere, whatever it is, this will seriously repair the damage in your hair. It's the best products ever. So um, if you're willing to splurge a little bit on conditioners and your hair is truly damaged, this stuff is amazing. The next thing, oh I forgot about this, <laughs> I finished this a long time ago. This was my Blue Plasma from Paracone. A lot of you probably remember me talking about this. I really do like this product a lot. I think it was amazing for my pores. I'm actually suffering a little bit since I stopped using it. Um, I sh should probably go back to it. It's just expensive, so I haven't repurchased it yet. It's, it's about $100, so I think it's like $98. So I really did like this. I'm debating on whether or not I want to go back to it and repurchase it. Right now I'm using my Ula Henriksen Invigorating Night Gel kind of in place of this. Um, this is a little different. It's more of like a deep down pore declogger um, slash exfoliator gently, gentle exfoliator. Um, I think I'll buy it again. I'm just kind of holding off a little bit longer so I can finish maybe one or two more of my other products. Um, but I will probably go back to this in the nearish future because this did amazing things for my skin. I mean it made it smooth. It practically made my pores like gone. It helped with acne. It's just kind of a magical product, and I've talked about it a lot before, but um, yeah, I think I'll go back to this soon. I kind of forgot about it in the back, in the past month, but um, I'll probably go back to it. This is the Peter Thomas Roth Lashes to Die For. It's the Eyelash Enhancing Serum. Um, a while ago, Sephora had these small ones in Beauty to Go. They don't have them anymore. Um, I wish they did, or they should at least, but anyways, I bought this. I actually bought three of them because I was like... I go crazy with things like that. But anyways, I'm not the biggest fan. I didn't think it really did much for my lashes. I can't say that I would repurchase the big size because I don't think it's worth the money, first of all. Well, it used to be $125, but now they lowered it to $85, so at least that's a lot better. But at the same time, I really didn't think this did anything, and I use like two of these up. So I used it for like over three months, so it's not like I just, you know, used it and for like a week or whatever and didn't notice anything. No, I used it for a really long time, and I honestly didn't notice much of a difference, if any at all. So I wouldn't buy this and I would not recommend it. This is my favorite lip gloss ever and I've already bought it. Um, I think I went through like three of these already in my lifetime. It's the Lip Maximizer Collagen Active um, Plumper thing from Dior. Love this, it feels amazing on the lips. I put it on top of every, pretty much every lipstick that I wear, like I'm wearing it on top of what I'm wearing right now. Um, they recently, Sephora recently had Beauty Insider 100 Point Perks, so I got like six of those, I'm not even kidding. Um, I wish I got more, but um, so I'm using those for now because they were like a really good size, I'll show you them. I have one right here, so I, I got like six of these, so right now I'm using these, but I've gone through like three full size of these. I keep it in my brush belt at work, I keep it in my bag everywhere I go. I just use them all the time, and they're my favorite glosses ever. And the last product is a mascara from Guerlain. It's the Maxi Lash. I really liked this while I had it. I think it gives really girly, flirty looking lashes, like a very feminine, full lash. Not too spiky, not like super long, more of a voluminous, like nicely separated, just like really feminine eyelash. So I did really like this. I'm going to go through a couple more of my different mascaras that I already have, but I think eventually I probably will go back to this because I really enjoyed the nice, like pretty lash look that it gave me. So that's it for my empties video. I'm really proud of myself. I finished so many things. Granted, this was like 
from the past like three months, but still, that's good. Um, so I hope you guys like this video. Um, let me know what you finished recently, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye!